I have Levi uh, on the line. I'm going to be opening the phone lines. I hope they work because WMNF had uh, an issue. Levi, are you there? Yes. Oh, good morning. Thank you for being there and thank Hi. technology. Hi, Levi. Or Levi, I think you told me. Okay, Levi. You're fine. Okay. So, I consider the occupiers in Palestine to not be Israel. No, Israel was taken captive by the Assyrians. 722, you know, BC, the 10 tribes were lost. And many have claimed the throne of Jerusalem, and yet these folks are not real Jews. The people that, that claim that the Muslims are anti-Christ, I know I had a stepfather that thinks this way. So they stand by. I'm sorry. Uh, so uh, I, I uh, you mean some people say that Muslims are the Antichrist, or you? Yes. Oh, okay. I've changed. I've changed direction. Yes. Yeah. Okay. But just in this country in general, you know, that's like a, some kind of a, a theory people have, and th at the same time they promote this First Amendment, which claims to you know, uphold all religious views as being equal. So that hypocrisy, um, you know, the First Amendment is a false promise because no one can tell someone that they, you know, either have a right or don't have a right to practice the religion of their choice. I mean, that's like Constantine legalizing Christianity. But the world powers seek for people to adapt their rule of law, which is separate from God's rule. And it has corrupting powers. You know, uh, in your community, people think that, that you know, the, the new generations are being, you know, uh, respecting the traditions of their elders. You know, it's not happening. You know, they're becoming what you may call westernized. You know, there's a common saying, you reap what you sow. I believe that we reap what others sow as well. But what, what do you think, uh, Levi, of what the gist of what I have been talking about is that there are very important issues that have happened in the past year, uh, things that the president said during the State of the Union. But this obsession with Russia uh, and media obsession with coverage is letting major things happen, like, for instance, like he says, he's going to punish countries who do not uh, vote the way he wants. I mean, well, we can't be a democracy and well, seek to spread democracy in the rest of the world and look so down on third world countries and call them names. And then uh, we, we say we are going to punish. Maybe it's, you know, he's just saying that. But shouldn't there be like a discussion over on, on, uh, on the air? There is no space except Russia, 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 Russia. Well, if you listen, like, first of all, this is really a, a, a demon Christy. It, it's adapted from the two consuls in Rome. And, it, and you know, the, the parties are taking those roles. And they're splitting people up. And they're playing games. And it's very, very obvious. Um, you know, this, this fellow is a pretender. He, he's not a president. He doesn't make choices he doesn't sit behind the desk and you know it, it, he, he's a pretender he, he he's just acting the role and the thing with russia is that you know people keep saying that that the russians somehow got this pretender elected well does it seem like russia and the united states have a good withstanding relationship because the last time I checked, you know, there was like nuclear threats that were happening. So to think that the Russians, you know, somehow got this guy elected is flawed. And that doesn't discredit that he was elected, you know, through a suspicious means, because you can't trust those machines. Um, but, you know, that's a diversion to, to think mm -hmm. that, the, that somehow the Russians 
um, oh. or the one that got him involved because they don't have a good re relationship right now. Thank you so much, Levi. Oh, I, thank I, you. I appreciate the uh, call.